Taris. There we go. There we go. Ah. Ze lint is vlie, is vlie, is vlie niet zo. I'll try again later. Good morning, good morning. It is day 200, oh, 316 of from here to Jerusalem. Today is a short day. Yesterday I did about uh, 25 kilometers uh, from uh, Dimitrovgrad to, uh, where am I now? Ah, oh, I'm here. There you go. I should know this. That's shameful, like, I slept here. <laughs> and Svilnitsa is where I'm heading today. Uh, Dragoman. Dragoman. I walked from Dimitrovka to Dragoman. <clears throat> I was sent back by the border police to walk over the Via Militaris, which is now the main road to Sofia and Istanbul. And oh, look, good morning there, lads. We're hanging out, having a nap, looking at me, I'm looking at you. Good morning. And this morning, I'm walking to Slivilnic. Okay, I'll get that right later. And uh, <clears throat> now they start barking because <laughs> I'm past. They can smell me now. <sighs> I was hosted by a young lady and her parents. Well, she was in her 30s, I think, 20s or 30s. And she did an interview with me. And we played a little bit of music, not much. And now uh, it has been organized that I can stay with somebody in uh, the next place, here again. And uh, yeah, it's a short day. And then this afternoon, we will go to uh, one of the monasteries. And uh, there I will be hosted for a, a night, if I want to longer, but she said, I, I, it can't be longer. What's happening here? Okay, let me check this out. There's a bridge and stuff. Where's that road? Hang on. Okay, figured it out. So, there is a hotel here, which we just passed there. But like, they're getting this bridge literally into their front yard. Ah, oh, there we have the stadium. This looks kind of good. There we have the main road again. So, yeah, so the main road, which is the Panslavic uh, road, which is how Europe does business with the East. And you know, all those little Turkish shops with all the lovely things. Well, it comes from, it comes straight over there, like over this road <coughs> here in front of us. Uh, I assume this is the old road. There it goes. Where am I going? I'll have to figure this out. Okay. And yeah, then you end up on this road here. Oh man, what a mess. They t told me that parts of it had disappeared. Okay, 
I've got to get my head around this. Hang on. Wow. Look at that. So do I get over that little path? I've got to check. Hang on. There it is. There it is. Ah, yeah, dead straight. So, again, this is the Via Militaris. Any diversions around this is because other people did other things or there was a real obstacle. The only time it has been this clear to me how those Roman roads were laid was in England, on the Pilgrim's Way into Canterbury. You come through a stretch, oh my god, dead right, dead straight, dead straight, beautiful. And in France, of course, although there's nothing left of the original roads, uh, they kept them. Afterwards, for agriculture, it's just stunning. And here we go again. Now, the bit about Dragoman is all dug up. Um, the first bit coming out of all the turns, you saw me just go like... Rah! That's exactly how it feels and it's not entirely clear when you should come off. Ah, what can I say? Thank God for GPS. Uh, so this is the old road. This is the old road. This goes all the way to Istanbul as straight as possible as the crow flies. <sighs> now and of course this is not the original pavement. This was paved over good few times I'd say I don't know who laid those cobblestones but uh, very functional and underneath there somewhere are the original paving stones and somebody told me yesterday they dug up a whole section of it in uh, Dimitrovgrad I didn't know I, I would have loved to have seen it uh, and another bit was dug up a few years ago here in uh, Bulgaria and I had read about it. We'll walk over that bit as well uh, But they didn't preserve uh, They didn't preserve it Whew. My pack is a tiny bit lighter. I've been eating mad like mad uh, <laughs> In Le at Lent the Orthodox Church does not eat cheese and cream and milk uh, But since I'm not Orthodox, I've been munching away uh, and I thought, because it's really, really heavy. Now, I'm definitely having a short, uh, not enough vitamin C, because I'm, as you can see, I'm uh, getting some blisters. So my uh, defenses are low. The temperatures, it's around six degrees. It'll freeze tonight again. Uh, there is some cold on the way, but it's nice and bright. 
so I'm happy. Ah. There you go, that's the landscape. You see, the contours of the, of the land haven't changed in those 2,000 years. That bit has changed. That's man-made. This bit has changed. That's man-made. But out there, okay, that bit as well. <laughs> but what's behind there, those hills and mountains, they have been like the same for as long as we have been writing history in the modern world in the past 2,000 years. It makes me happy. What can I say? So I was welcomed yesterday in Dragoma by this lady and her family. Uh, thank you very much to Ina, who is the coordinator for the Jerusalem Way in uh, Bulgaria. She has organized another host for me uh, to welcome me in Slivnica. And uh, this host will bring me to uh, the monastery. Uh, more about that monastery later, of course. Uh, they have an abbot who was voted in as an abbot about 15 years ago. There was a bit of a descent in the lines and he's been there ever since. I read an interview with him. Very impressive. Uh, I was a stockbroker before he, he became a priest. Uh, turned to the church in 2007. 2017. He is uh, getting uh, his climbing higher up and now he's been abbot in this uh, in this monastery f f for uh, a good while. Uh, yeah, it'll be an honor to to meet him. And uh, oh man, I'm in Bulgaria now. The day after, so. Uh, what we've, what we've, dis what I've, I was asked what I wanted, and uh, this monastery apparently also like is back in the old model of monastery, monastery. So they, uh, they, they live off the land. They have one of those old uh, models, you know, pray and work. Uh, so I, I assume, I don't know what they have there, but I assume it is cattle and things like that. Um, oh man, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. And then the day of, after, uh, I will then tomorrow evening, I will sleep in sleep Nietzsche, spend some time with the host and then move on to Sofia, which is a long walk. But if I have a day's rest, I might be able to do it. And I'll spend an extra day in Sofia because, of course, there's stuff to see there as well. Uh, now, we're going to go around the corner here and then we're going to see that Roman road stretch out dead straight. Oh, I'm one happy, happy bunny. See you later. The old Irish hopper, he comes my way. We walk together. From Dublin to Bray, he says, lift your feet, for that's what we need. We need dance, we need song, so keep playing strong. That's what your gift, that is how you must be, that is how it must be. It'll set us all free. He comes to me, he takes my hands, he says we are free. The old Irish hopper, he comes my way, he holds my hand as we walk into Bray. He shows me the stars, the sun and the moon. He says, don't you fret, we'll meet again soon. Just follow the road 
Don't forget to play harp and don't close those green eyes. You've got to stay sharp. The old Irish harper, he comes to me. He takes my hand and says, you are free. The old Irish harper, he cannot stay. He says his good Number 40, number 38, number 36. Sleeve Nietzsche. There you go. I did it. I arrived in a good time. I was here before two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I met with my host, uh, Stoilka. <sighs> and I had a bit of rest. I had lots of food. I had so much food. Like her mom made me food, which I ate most of <laughs> and then she came back later with soup and pizza. I ate half pizza and ate half of the soup. <sighs> we were supposed to go to uh, this monastery. Plans have changed. Um, I'll go to Sofia tomorrow with her and I'm going to do a day of sightseeing and then I'm going to do a day of walking and then I'll come back here with her. And then on International Women's Day we'll go to the monastery because she wants to go there as well. And then on Thursday I'll do the last day of walking. I think something like that. Something like that. Uh, into Sofia. Oh man. Uh I played a bit of harp. We had loads of chats. Uh, I'm really tired again. <laughs> My legs are still hurting. <laughs> so I'm gonna go sleep now. And uh, yeah, it was a it was a short day. So the deal with the road is is that basically I'm gonna follow the the old road. I'd say and. Uh, Hope for the best in in roots. Like uh, whenever the root isn't there, like I spoke to Ina about um, walking along uh, the main road. Like apparently, it's quite common that people do this. I'm not gonna do that. I think like it's not my thing. Like I want to get to Plovdiv, but I want to get there safely. I'm not gonna walk around in a yellow vest. I want to be out on the back roads. I don't if uh, if if it is between uh, being on the E80, I'm not going to be walking on the E80. Only if the road if like it was fine walking into Bulgaria like on on a on on a two lane road where there is no traffic, but I'm not going to walk into those those big trucks. No, that's that's dangerous. It's bad in Western Europe, but like these people are trying to get like their freight um, into the next country. So I will have to I will have to take this opportunity to study some maps again. Um, but I'm feeling really good. Like between these women, they have made it possible for me to be here and get acquainted with. Uh, my surroundings. I feel really loved at this moment in time and I'm really 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 glad that I am taking this route like this it's how do I describe this like I was walking on these cobblestones which are not comfortable to walk on for about 13 kilometers a day but oh my like Oh. You know, the, the the Romans came through here, like on that very same road. Uh, it's not far from here that the Crusades passed. Uh, it's not far from the place where we're going to see this monastery. I am just going like, I, like my mind is exploding that I am here, uh, you know, 
the 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 old the old road this is the old road you you want to know like this is the closest i've been to any of this since rome it is just it's amazing ah as for all the the uh the worries like again the same thing as with the other countries Bulgaria is just another country, right? There is uh, nice people and not so nice people. And like, I, I couldn't find the address. I could find it up to number 42. And then I was counting houses and nothing. And I asked some people, they sent me back. And they were like, no, it's around the corner. And it wasn't. And then I walked into a shop and this woman was like, I don't know. And I asked this man, could he... Could he talk into Google Translate? And he was like, no, no. What was I thinking? No, he wasn't using that type of, that type of uh, technology. And then they found this man in his 30s who spoke English. And he said, no, I think it's just further down the road. Like, there is just a hiatus in accounting. And then she was waiting for me on the street, literally. And uh, I don't know. Like, I'm just... I'm just feeling like really good. I'm feeling really happy. I'm really delighted that I'm here. And yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Uh, adventure, absolutely. Meeting new souls. So I am in uh, the weekend house of Stoilka. Uh, which is next to her mom's house. I can be here for as long as needs be. There is uh, some um, energy that we need to exchange. I'm happy bunny. Like, I'm just happy bunny. And I'm going to go sleep now because tomorrow at 8 we're heading to Sofia. I've got churches to see. I mean, how lucky am I? I get to like do the sightseeing before I arrive. And then I get to go back and I get to walk and it's good for my body because I'm still in pain and I don't know. I'm just happy. I'm going to take a shower now. It's late. And uh, then I'm going to go sleep for a few hours. And I'll get to play and, you know, I'm uh, Bulgaria. <laughs> Bulgaria, here I am. It's stunning. The whole thing is just stunning. Yeah. You know, and really, oh, and what I was thinking as well this morning. But, you know, you could say like, oh, it's set out this route. I really wanted to see that little, uh, that little, uh, I wanted to have lunch at, at the top of this mountain near this monastery. But like... This border guard patrol people person, he actually did me a favor because I didn't have to climb 500 meters, five, 600 meters to go up to 800 meters. Uh, and he not only did he save me doing that, like I, I got to walk into Bulgaria on, on the two lanes. Ah, you know, you couldn't make it up if you tried. Um, and I know I sound annoyed sometimes about, you know, the things that I see. Th there are real, real issues everywhere. I, I'm, I'm aware of this, but like, it's all out of my hands. Like, I'm not the bringer of, you know, of the change, the practical change that will, you know, turn war into peace or, uh, you know, create better walking routes or you know i i'm not here to change regimes do anything like i'm just here to see and uh and i what i learned in the past two days is yeah i have definitely you know i my control freak is still still very much there i wanted to go up that mountain when that man went like no you can't i kind of went like Mrr. But he actually did me a favor. He gave me a real present. He gave me a great little present. Like I got to, I got to, 
I got to walk like uh, like in a said like an empress into Bulgaria. I'm on the right road. Like I actually walked on via militaris in into Bulgaria. How lucky am I? Uh, yes, part of that road had been eaten up by the European Union road. It's not up to me to change. What I will say is that how do the locals get around? You know, what if you want to take a bicycle and you have to go up six hundred meters just because you want to get to the next village? Seems like bad planning to me. Like, but am I in charge? No, nah, I'm just coming through. So. I am learning that uh, my control freak just needs to take a bit of a holiday <laughs> and I need to relax and just keep looking at the landscape, keep moving forward and be here, play music, listen, speak when I'm asked for what I'm thinking. The people here seem to be very much the same as the Serbians, they're up straight. You can say what you think. I'm gonna like this. Like, in, yes, that border again was just a line in the sand. It's a line in the sand. And there is historical conflict between the two places. Um, historically, things have happened. But I'm not the one who can change that. But I can hear the stories and I can say that it was good on the other side and it's good here too. <laughs> so, on that note, there's Jerry the Stick. Sean the Harp is around the corner there somewhere. Uh, is he? Yes. And my stuff is literally everywhere by now. I'm going to go sleep for a few hours. And tomorrow is another day. And we'll go to Sofia. We'll go see some beautiful things. We're going to see some churches. Uh, one of the oldest churches in Sofia. We're going to see like the the little chapel, which is this is going to be great like it's in a in a real real soviet era hotel and underneath it is um the chapel where uh <laughs> constantine the great uh it's dedicated it was his chapel i mean we're gonna see it so <sighs> i'm looking forward to it i'll see you tomorrow good night <laughs> From north to south, sing my songs as freely as if we were about. Never close my eyes, play my harp every day, cause I know when he comes, he'll come my way. The old Irish harper.